Okay, how's it YouTube? All right, so today I am canning celery. A um, little bit different view. Uh, I can't find my charging cord to my uh, video camera, so I'm back to using my DSLR. So we kind of got you at a different angle. So if you see my baby belly <laughs> in the shot, um, that's why. All right, so I've got nine stalks of celery to um, can up and process and there is no better day than today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I like to chop everything first and then give it a really good wash once everything is chopped and get it really cleaned. Um, I also want to clean my ends here and my tips that I'm cutting off because I'm going to save that to make broth with so those will also get a really good wash and then they will get frozen so the next time I make stock I'll have them so um, it's just easier for me you know I always feel like if I wash my celery first um, I might miss like chunks of like dirt and debris so, or like this, you know, you get um, sometimes dead, like, leaves on here. So, I'm just going to make sure, I mean, actually now I'm going to can these, this part here. I'll save that for stock. I've got that. Cut this off. go through here and anything that has like leaf you know lots of leaf on them I will save that for my broth excuse the background noise as always my washer is going <laughs> I don't kid when I say I do three to four loads of laundry a day that thing is always going so there we have that so all of this will be washed separately and saved for stock and then these will all be washed really well I'm just gonna go ahead and place them into my strainer and then I will um, give them a good bath and some ice cold water and then chop them up um, to can so let me go ahead and finish the other six stocks and I will be back once they're all washed up. So now that I have all of my celery washed really, really well, I'm going to go ahead and start chopping them. Now, um, I have got, I've learned this from Bev over at our Half Acre Homestead. I'm going to leave her link down below if you want to watch a pro can celery. That is where you should go. This is my first time doing it, so you guys are just kind of coming along with me to do it. Um, but I have read that if you um, chop it a little bit thicker, um, that it won't get as mushy once you can it. Um, and that was actually um, also told to me by Janie Pendleton, who also made a video on canning celery recently, um, celery that she actually got out of her own garden. I will leave that link to her video down below too. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to chop this a bit wider than I would normally chop my celery. Probably... Oh, what is that? About a half inch, I would guess. So that's what I'm gonna do and see if it doesn't come out a little bit more firmer in texture. Now I know um, people have asked me why I'm choosing to can celery uh, when you can just buy it fresh, right? Well, sometimes you can't just run out and buy fresh, and sometimes last minute, you know, you're making something, and, you know, celery isn't one of those things that keep in your fridge if you have it for a long period of time. So, if you can it, you have it at your disposal at, your disposal at any time. So, if it's the last minute, I want to make a quick chicken soup, 
or um, a quick chicken salad or um, whatever, I will have canned celery in my pantry. So I'm very excited about this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get a big bowl out so I can put my collection of celery up on it. And when I'm done chopping, I will take you over to the stove with me where I've got my pressure canner going. I've got, um, we're, we're going to have to blanch this celery for three minutes. So I've got boiling water going over there. I've got my lid starting to simmer. Um, so yeah, I'll bring you back as soon as I kind of get this all organized here. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do, it's really hard with <laughs> the camera that I'm using, but I'm gonna go ahead and add this into a pot of boiling water. I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna blanch these for exactly three minutes. So I have my timer here and I'm gonna time three minutes once I get going. Um, and then once that's done, I'm gonna take, I bought these, I bought a three pack of these handy dandy strainers. I'm going to go ahead and bring it out, strain them, and then they'll be ready to can. So once I get back to, once I get to that part where I'm ready to can these, I will be back. All right, so here is my celery after I've blanched it for three minutes, and I'm just going to set it off to the side. And now we're going to start filling our jars. I didn't know how many jars I would need. So I just washed two dozen, and it doesn't hurt. The only thing it cost me was a little soap and water to make sure that they were all cleaned and ready. Um, now Bev says each half pint, I'm doing these in half pint jars, not pint. Um, each half pint equals one cup of celery, which to me, you know, in a recipe, if you need two cups of celery, just pull two jars. But I like the idea of having it um, jarred in one cup increments, I guess you would say. Um, simply for like, if I'm making a chicken salad or anything like that, where I don't want two cups of celery in there, that way I'm kind of not wasting anything. So I'd rather open up two jars and use it in a soup than, than you know, having to have to open up two cups, um, say if I were gonna use a pint jar, if that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry guys, I know I'm kind of all over the place. Hopefully I have you focused okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start filling up my jars with celery. And we are going to can this, leaving one inch of head space. I wanna make sure I get it all tucked in there. I've got my water on the stove right now um, boiling so that I can fill this with boiling water. Okay. And there's another one. You don't wanna overpack them. You wanna make sure that they're below that one inch headspace line. That's good. All right, so I'm gonna keep going here. And once my water is ready, once I have all these packed, my water should be ready. And then I will bring you back when I start filling my jars. All right, guys, ready to do this? I've got 19 half pints here. All right. So, woohoo! Now let's hope they all fit in my canner. <laughs> all right, I have a big pot of water over here that has come to a boil. And I'm going to fill each one of these to one inch headspace. Make sure you debubble. That is a huge, huge part of this. Okay. And we're just gonna keep moving on. Now you might, once you debubble, you might have to fill your jar up a little bit more. I should get all those air bubbles out. So, just make sure you're at that one inch line. Okay, you guys see that? Ooh, 
There we go. All right, guys, I'm going to finish up filling up all my jars, and then I will come back when I start putting them in the canner. All right, guys, so I have all of my jars filled. Um, one inch head space, they're all debubbled. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take, uh, I know you guys can't see that. Um, this is just canning salt, and I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm going to pour some in a little jar because it'll just be easier. These little ramekins come in handy for projects like this. So, got a little ramekin here. And I'm just going to put a quarter of a teaspoon of canning salt in each jar. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I've got another ramekin over here filled with just a little bit of um, vinegar and some of that boiling water that I used to um, fill my jars with. I'm going to dip my napkin in them and I'm going to go around and I'm going to make sure that all the rims of my jars are nice and clean. Okay. And then once we get them all cleaned, it is time to go ahead and start putting our lids and our rings on, which have been sitting in, um, you're not supposed to simmer the new uh, lids anymore. So what I do is I just simmer the water and then I go, go ahead, take it off the stove, put all my lids and my rings in it, and um, that way they're in hot water that's been simmered, but they're not simmering, okay? And there we have it. So in the canner, they are going to go and how easy and how fun is this? We are canning celery, guys. Okay, make sure that it's finger tight, but not too tight. Um, I have been considering buying um, Tatler lids. I'm a bit nervous, although everyone who has used them says that they love them. So if you use Tatler lids, please comment below or if you make videos, make me a video talking about your Tatler lids and teaching me about your Tatler lids because um, I want to use them and I'm nervous. I'm just gonna dip that in the water again. And I'm nervous, um, but I'm thinking about buying a bulk box. Uh, I think it comes 124 in a case. Um, a bulk box of the regular mouth and a bulk box of the wide mouth. That way, just in case, you know, no matter what happens, um, I can can. I can continue to can. Worst case scenario, always being in the back of my head. But, you know, I lived through the uh, East Coast great power outage of 2003 where we were out of power for four almost five days and um, at that time for those who didn't experience it <laughs> there's nothing more eerie than being in a state that is completely dark um, nothing moves uh, nothing is open so there is no access to anything. I'm gonna go ahead and, my water's getting a little higher, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my tongs. Um, so there is no running to the store because the stores do not open, they have no power. Um, so if something like that happens and you are caught off guard, what do you do? If you can't run to the store to get more canning lids, what do you do? Um, and this way, if something like that were to happen again, I could, you know, say you have, you know, this happened to uh, Bev at our Half Acre Homestead. When she lost power, all her meat in her freezer, she had to can. Well, luckily, she had 
her canning equipment. But what happens if you're out of lids? What happens if you're not prepared, you know? So Tatler lids would at least guarantee me that safety that um, I would always have lids on hand even if I had to reuse them, you know? And I know I'm babbling, but as usual, I talk to you guys. You guys are my company for the day. <laughs> Being a stay-at-home mom sometimes can be lonely. So I appreciate you guys keeping me company while I do this for the very first time. I was very excited, a little nervous. You know, you're always a little nervous when you're canning something for the first time. I think that's normal. I think that's healthy because it kind of keeps you on your toes. So, but I'm very, very excited to be canning celery. All right, so I have my first level done. I'm going to go ahead and add my second tier to my canner. And continue on here putting the lids on and the rings so I don't want to bore you guys with this I know some people like to watch the whole process and then some people really hate my you know 30 minute videos <laughs> so I I don't know I, you know I am who I am and I'm a blabber and I love talking to you guys and um, it's hard when I edit to edit, edit stuff out. <laughs> uh, so let me know what you think. Let me know what you enjoy. Do you want shorter videos? You know, five minute canning videos? Or do you appreciate my long winded 20, 30 minute videos? <laughs> let me know your opinion. Comment down below. All right, so. Once we get this in the canner, I'm going to go ahead and put my um, canning lid on and vent it, bring it up to temp, and um, start the process. Now, I'm not going to go through all that with you guys. Um, like I said, you can watch Bev's video. She's, you know, she's the teacher. I am the student. That's how I feel. And, uh... Um, you know, you guys have seen plenty of that in my other videos anyway. I don't want to bore you guys with that. But I'm bringing it up to temperature and then vent it for 10 minutes. Put my weight on, which is here. And this is going to process at 10 pounds for 35 minutes. And then we will be done. Then I'm going to turn off my canner and let it come back down to pressure. And when I pull them out of the jar, I will bring you guys back and show you what it looks like. We are canning celery, guys. Woo! I'm so excited. Alrighty, guys. So, we are all done here. I am just going to lift my canner lid away from me. Remembering everything is very hot. And... Go ahead and pull these out. I have a bathroom towel. Actually, what I want to do is I want to put it on one layer, and then that way I can totally cover it once they come out. Because we don't want them to catch a draft as they come up to room temperature. But these look beautiful. And I'm going to give them enough room to kind of cool down. I'm not going to crowd them. Smells so good. And hopefully, you guys are picking up on that. I think you guys can see that okay. Now, I'm going to get the 
tray up out of here. Acre Homestead for posting that video on how to do this so newbies like myself can give it a try. There you have it guys. Now what I'm going to do is with the other half of my of my towel see how I can do that and cover them right up and then that way they can go ahead and come up to room temperature nice and slow um, sometimes by morning they're still a tad bit warm and I hear them popping already under the towel um, and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead when they're completely cool ah, I hear the pops when they're completely cool I will go around I will make sure everyone is sealed I will take the rings off I'll inspect them and then I'll go ahead and give them a good wash in uh, soapy water, hot soapy water with a little bit of vinegar, and uh, label them, dry them off, label them, and put them on the pantry. And they are just popping away under there, so I'm very, very, very happy. So I'll give you one more quick peek at what they look like. And I've got four rows over here. Let's see if I can. There you go. Oh, yeah, you can see. Okay. So. Here we have it. All right. So, canning celery under my belt now. I'm <laughs> very, very excited. Tomorrow, oh, I hear them popping away now. Uh, tomorrow, I plan on canning carrots. I have uh, organic baby carrots, and I have, I think, three, three or four bags. So, um, quite a few pounds of carrots to can up. Those I'll can in um, pint jars. I like those in pints. Anyway, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumb it up down below if you did. And, uh, yeah, all right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.